How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we have Steve again. So we're gonna install something on his car because Steve likes to skidoo and uh, there's something missing on his car to take his skidoo on the water. So Steve, so what's today, happening? What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be putting on a hitch. We're gonna start with a hitch today so I can pull my skidoos around. We'll see how it's a bolt on so it goes straight onto the back bumper. We're gonna take off the back bumper, the steel bumper inside, put the hitch on, re-bolt it put everything back together so now let's get started hey Steve, what's up? so what's going on guys so today we're gonna be putting it on a hitch the hitch is there all it's right awesome another Amazon product it's Amazon yeah ordered from Amazon but oh, it's a curved okay. hitch yeah. we'll so see what it says because they said it's used so I got a discount yeah that's good yeah, so, so is this a bolt-on piece or we have direct, to modify something to connect it to no the No modifications, straight bolt on to the original bolts right. with the steel bumpers, no headaches. I love bolt ons. Beautifully. Easy to install, no headache. No headaches like the down pipes. <laughs> you know, we'll be fine today. Alright. Awesome. At least, at least for that. For nice. Awesome, I actually have tools. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say anyways. You gonna start telling So here at the bottom of the rear bumper, you have to take out all these eight millimeter screws before you can uh, remove the bumper all the way around from end to end, okay? Okay, so to remove the uh, rear brake light, you have to take out this, what's it, 10 millimeters, Steve? Yes. Yeah, two 10 millimeter, then you take out the, the light and unplug the uh, connection from the electrical. So this one is already taken out by Steve, so that's good to go. It should be okay. Oh, exact, but it's beautiful. Okay, I got that off here. So you have to take out the uh, eight millimeter screw, a T20 screw and another eight millimeter here that's holding the bumper so you can pop out the side and uh, release the bumper. Beautiful. All right, there you go. All right, we'll take our time. Maybe there's some clips or something behind it. That's what you're saying. Pull it no, the, uh, the sensor. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Okay. Yeah, be careful for that. I'll hold it, you unclip it. Now, how do I unclip it without breaking them? Hold there. Imagine that holding it. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so to remove the bumper, you have to take out all the connection from that uh, parking sensor. So in this car, there's four of them. So you have to unclip it before you can fully take out the rear bumper. So we need to remove all the uh, nuts that's holding the uh, bumper, the metal bumper support. You have four of them for you can put the, uh, the hitch. And there's a plastic cover here that you have to take out with an eight millimeter screw from the bottom so you can pull out the plastic that's supporting the uh, bumper skin. And here you have another uh, two more uh, 18 millimeter so you're gonna need a deep socket to take this out because they're pretty deep, so. Now we can pull out the metal bumper and we can install the, the, the hitch.
this was in there. Besides that, let's see what it says. You might have to take out the shield. Or cut the shield. We're gonna have to move it, that's for sure. This one we can take later off. Yeah. Then so we can put the bumper, bolt it on, and pull back the shield. Yeah, so this is how the trailer hitch is uh, connected right now to the rear uh, bumper. But uh, the bumper support's not connected yet. We have to put that bumper up here. So we have to sandwich this hitch between the bumper and the body of the car. So that's how the fitment was good actually. It's really well. The only thing, the shield is on the way. So once we tighten the bolt, we're gonna compress the shield and uh, then we're gonna pull it back after so it doesn't rub against anything else inside. So we have no noise while driving the car. So for the uh, 18 millimeter bolts, well, 18 millimeter nuts, you have to torque it to 89 foot pounds to secure the rear bumper on all four of them. So that's it. Now it's pretty, pretty solid now. Bumpers again reconnected all the uh, parking sensors. So now it's just a matter of putting all the screws back, the tail lights back, and it's done. As you can see. So guys, that's how it looks like right now, see? It looks actually good because you can barely tell that you have a hitch because of the gloss black. It blends in with the rest of the car. Nice clean install. So that's how you install a hitch on an F30 series BMW. So guys, we finally finished the installation of the trailer hitch for uh, Steve's car. So now he can enjoy his uh, sea do. So Steve, awesome. Make sure whatever you get is a nice bolt on, so you don't have any issues. Can't complain. This one was very simple yeah. and way to go. Yeah. So next time we're gonna do a JB4 in his car. So better stay tuned for that. So guys, please like this video and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Shaking